What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Elo Bandit, and today I'm going to be talking about the 1v1 Premier League 3. This is a Smogon tournament hosted by Deg and Yogi. It's a tournament that I've been participating in for uh, about the last month or so. And I'm going to do a recap today of the first three weeks, all of the matches that I've played. So without any further ado, let's get into my matches from 1v1 Premier League 3. Alright, so this was my week one, game one, match one, against Sainara. This is playing Oras 1v1, uh, so gen 6, no Z moves, nothing like that. Um, this was my very first matchup. And it was actually a pretty easy pick on my part. I could have gone Charizard. Charizard would have been a decent pick um, because it does very well against Mawile. Um, however, seeing three physical attackers and expecting a Scarf Kirin Black, which would bop my Charizard, um, I elected to go the safer route of picking Ferrothorn. And I figured um, one physical tank into three physical attackers should be a strong matchup. I go ahead and get my Leech Seed up immediately to put Mawile on a timer, and it does reveal knockoff. If it had been Fire Fang, I most definitely would have lost. Um, however, it did blow its one turn of strong uh, knockoff item early. Um, if it had Swords Danced a couple more times, um, maybe a knockoff would have been closer to KOing me, but as is, I was able to boost up myself and simply Gyro Ball the Mawile to death after Leech Seed. So this was game two against Sainara. Um, this matchup was kind of one on team preview because as you can see, Sainara chose to bring three stall Pokemon and I decided to bring um, a two taunt Pokemon actually. My Mawile has taunt and my Whimsicott has taunt. So I, I just brought my Whimsicott knowing that it could take on any stall Pokemon with the combination of substitute, taunt, and leech seed. So that is exactly what I did and Sainara ends up forfeiting game two. Now matchup three was a little bit more difficult because Sainara decided to bring Mawile again, Charizard again, I don't know the form, and Mega Venusaur. So on my end, I can't really bring Whimsicott again because it kind of loses to all three. Snorlax is a decent pick, especially against uh, the Charizard. However, I think that my Charizard is the strongest overall pick because of how well it does against Mawile. Um, it is Zard X, so it has a strong matchup against the opposing Zard, uh, not knowing its form. And I also have a good matchup against Venusaur, because I'm running Substitute, so I can uh, outplay a Leech Seed or a Charm. So in this case, I do choose to go Charizard, as he actually brings Mawile. Um, I go ahead and... Oh yeah, I, I set up a Substitute, um, expecting something like that, and then I'm able to just win the match with a Flare Blitz the following turn. So that is Elo Bandit 3-0, Sainara. For week two, uh, which was the Articunos versus the Panchams, um, I decided to play Gen 7 1v1. I was playing the best of seven against Osra. And this is the first matchup. I decided to bring uh, Dragonium Dragonite, Defensive Mega Venusaur, and Quiver Dance Volcarona. And Osra decided to bring a Cradley, a Coma O, and a Zygarde. And this team was a little bit confusing to me at first because it is Double Dragon, which is kind of stacking weaknesses, and Cradley is an interesting pick in itself. So. Yeah, this very first matchup, I was pretty comfortable um, just picking my dragon. Um, I went Dragonite because it does outspeed Como O, and it has a strong matchup, I think, against the other two, given that it is physical Dragonium. Um, so I, I went Dragonite. Um, it turned out to be a fast substitute Zygarde, which I wasn't expecting. Um, that did tank my Devastating Drake, effectively. Um, however, I was running Dragon Dance on this set, so there was no possibility of... Um, absorbing a move with Substitute and then boosting up after that. Um, Osra does get a sub off into the Zygarde complete form, and I thought that an Outrage at 52%, given that we're both at plus one, would KO, but it actually doesn't, and she manages to get a thousand arrows off um, before I am able to outspeed and KO thanks to the Dragon Dance Outrage. 
So that is 1-0 ELO versus Osra. This is the second matchup. Um, Osra elected to bring the exact same team. I would not have done that in her place, but to each their own. Um, I decided to bring a Fairy Dragon Steel core uh, featuring Mega Gardevoir um, and specially attacking Celesteela and Physical Dragonite. Um, I thought that Mega Gardevoir was such an obvious pick against two dragons that in my eyes it was very, very clear um, that the only uncertain matchup, which was Cradley, uh, would be picked on Oster's end, so I decided to go the thing that I determined had the best matchup against the unknown Cradley set, which was my own Celesteela. So I go ahead and get the Z metal sound off, which is cool because it gives me a plus one to special attack and reduces special defense by two. I take a crit um, with no worries because I am a relatively bulky uh, steel type, and I'm able to flash cannon for the win for game two. Matchup three, Osra decided to bring Como O again, despite not picking it either of the previous two battles, as well as um, a Type Null and a Mew. And on my end, I brought a standard Double Dance uh, Megirna. I have Choice Scarf Porygon Z and Swords Dance Garchomp. Um, now, she doesn't know what my items are, and I might be Choice Band Garchomp, I might be Z Conversion Porygon Z. Um, there are some some hidden variables in this matchup, um, and I thought that my best strategy, well, it looks like my best strategy is to go Megierna, because Megierna absolutely destroys Como O, and it has a strong matchup against Mew. However, I know that um, Type Null is likely to be the good Type Null set, which is Confide, um, which Confide does a pretty good job of countering Calm Mind. Um, it also runs Iron Defense, but... I know that um, my Garchomp can boost alongside Iron Defense, so I elect to go that matchup instead of the Megierna. So I do outspeed, I get all three sword stances up, max out my attack stat, and Earthquake... Oh no, sorry, I sub up first um, on a potential Toxic, but it does turn out to be Crush Claw. Um, so then I go ahead and Earthquake for 33% and... Um, it's an easy 3-hit KO after uh, recoil damage from Rough Skin. So that is game 3-1 against Osra. Now matchup 4 is where I almost choked, because I brought a very, very interesting team, I think. It's a Mega Blastoise, a Choice Specs Tapu Lele, and an Adamant Flyneum Z Brave Bird Crobat. Now... Interesting tidbit about Adamant Fly and EMZ Crobat, it does not outspeed Greninja. Timid Crobat does outspeed Greninja, and it's actually a pretty good counter, if somewhat niche. Um, I think Osra expected me to pick Jolly Offensive Crobat, um, seeing that Como O for the fourth time, um, and expecting to kill a potential Greninja. However, I was not that max speed Crobat, so I did not pick it. Instead, I actually went Tapu Lele. Um, Tapu Lele, I thought, had the best matchup against Mew, and also the best matchup against Como. -O. Um, Greninja, if it has been Choice Specs, I probably would have lost, but it turned out to be Choice Scarf trying to outspeed, I think, and snipe my Crobat, um, which did not happen. I was able to survive two Ice Beams and two hit KO with my Thunderbolt, and that is um, the 4-0 uh, series. All right, and then week three, which was the Frozen Articunos versus the Hellfire Heatrans. I'm playing Oros again, so back to Gen 6. This is a best of five series rather than a best of seven. So this was game one against Alive. And I have on my side a Garchomp, a Choice Specs, Genesect, and a Babiri Berry uh, Thunder Wave Flinch Togekiss. And I see that my opponent has brought a Mew, a Porygon 2, and um, a Garchomp of their own. And I think to myself, hey, I think uh, Choice Specs Genesect is an excellent pick into all three of these because I have Bug Buzz to hit Mew, and I have Ice Beam to hit Garchomp, and I can probably break through Porygon 2. So we start the match. 
and that's exactly the matchup that happens. So I get my download boost, um, so that is uh, choice specs and download boosted, um, as Porygon 2 does get a Thunder Wave off and a first turn para. Um, at this point, I was very worried. I thought, oh no, am I going to get full parried and end up losing? But I do end up getting a special defense drop, so a little bit of hacks on both sides, but I do end up taking the first match. Game 2 was a very interesting matchup. Because I don't know the Charizard set, it might be Flame Charge. I really don't want to pick Jump Bluff. Jump Bluff is kind of out of the picture for me. Um... But Diancy looks like it might be a great pick. Because Alive probably expects me to think that Alive is bringing Charizard. So I'm probably pressured into bringing Diancy. However, I, I'm on that level and I expect that. So instead of bringing Diancy, I bring the thing that beats the thing that beats Diancy. So his Diancy beater is... Greninja, and I don't have an obvious Greninja counter, but what I do have is a Volcanion that does pretty well against most Greninja. So what happens is, it turns out to be a super weird um, low kick set without Protean. It's, it's uh, Torrent low kick, which is a very odd set, but even through the water typing, I am able to two hit KO it with my Life Orb Overheat, so that is Game 2 gone to Elo Bandit. And now, matchup 3. This was the last game in the Oros series against Alive. Alive brought Mega Metagross, Mega Latias, and Mega Gardevoir, and I have my same Garchomp, uh, Genesect, and Togekiss team from the first match. I thought that it was kind of obvious to bring the same thing again, so I just did that because Genesect with Flash Cannon, Bug Buzz, and Ice Beam has an extremely strong matchup against all three of these. It turns out Gardevoir was not Hidden Power Fire, so I am able to take this match 3-0, and that pretty much brings us up to speed. So here we are in present day. And we are in week four. The Frozen Articunos are matched up with the Pixelated Porygons. I have a Sun and Moon best of seven against Mace Master coming up soon. And hopefully that will go up on YouTube. So stay tuned for more 1v1 Premier League 3 matches. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly hope that you are enjoying this type of content. And feel free to leave me some feedback in the comments. See you next time.